up most hall and we're going to push over so we have something like that and again this is going to look a little awkward at first so again don't panic because all it is is getting everything set up so we have this this is all going to get chopped up so that we can start uh, making the detail in a little bit but right now we just want to kind of get a good surface going and go back in their top view I'm going to right click and select individual vertices now and we're going to shape the back area here a little bit Just going to move that by holding X so that it taps right to the middle grid. So we're left with something like that. And this I can straighten right out now. Actually, I'll just insert an isoparm and cut or detach. And I can select the hull. straighten it and just move it down just a little bit. And you see how that's starting to work? So we have all of that pretty much ready to go. Again, we're going to go into our top view. I'm going to select our trunk. And our trunk can come over now. This is going to look very boxy for a long time until we get everybody blocked out so that all the proportions are right before we start anything major as far as detail goes. I'm going to grab this area here and I'm going to cut that. So I'm going to detach. And again, just try to make everything as straight as you can. It's a difficult. And I'm going to actually go up one higher and detach that again. And now I can move these guys and shape them. And I'll insert an isoparm right around in here. see how it's starting to build up. All right. So what we're going to build now is one other little part on the front of our hood here, which is this little section right here. And it's going to kind of overlap what we've kind of done a little bit. So I'm going to grab my EP curve tool if it's still loaded. And one, two, three, and four. Grab the EP curve tool again. One, two, three, and four. I'm just going to change the shape just a little bit by bringing that guy out. And this is all going to get detached and sewn up once we convert to polygons. Like I say, right now we're just kind of really focusing on getting everybody as far as shape goes. And we're going to reshape them. So I'm going to bring that up to where he needs to be. Right click, control vertex. And we're just going to follow the contours of the car now. The hardest part about this whole car model is the setup. Check that in our work area. And I'm going to 
going to grab both of them at the same time. Surface is loft. And just delete the edges. And you can see how I'll turn on wireframe for us. Shading, shade options, wireframe on shaded. And we can add some isoparms into there. And turn on x-ray. Like I say it's going to look a little nasty at first, but we got to get the geometry in there. And just insert isoparms. Because if you look at our picture, we have a little bit of a strip there. And that's what that part is going to be once we get a little farther along. And I'm just going to grab the halls now and just kind of soften that edge down a little bit like that. All right. So now what we can get into is we can actually do the little bit part more of the back right here. Remember we deleted something there. So we're just going to move this back. And we'll fix that in a little bit as well. Just move everybody up to where they need to be. And we'll smooth that out. And we'll just grab our Sculpt Surfaces tool real quick and just kind of smooth that out. All right, now let's build this little part here and it's going to work pretty much like we did for the trunk. So again, grab our EP Curve tool. And we're going to go one, two, three. Actually, we'll do it from the other side here. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, and four. Move the bottom one over. And select surfaces loft. Right click, isoparm, we'll add one or two down this way. And insert isoparm. Top view. And again, just manipulate until we get to where we need to be. should have something like that. And again, just move up just to get a little bit more rounded. Like so. I'm going to select a nice apartment, put it right at the beginning here of our side view. And now we can rock to the front of our car now. Again, grab our EP Curve tool. We're going to start right off the front. One, two, three, four, and five. Now these are going to overlap some of the work that we've done already. But again, remember, we just want to build all the geometry that we're going to need to manipulate in a little bit. And we're going to duplicate that. So edit, duplicate, 